Welcome back to Black Skies Reviews. In this review, we're going to take a look at the Joy Toy Fishing License Warhammer 40k an Imperial Fist Intercessor. Um, this Intercessor is meant to be an army builder. It's kind of inexpensive. They range, well, when they first came out, they're like 33 bucks to 35 bucks. I don't know, and they obviously you can get them higher or whatever, but that was the intention of Joy Toy. These have no name, they're just a basic. Uh, Imperial Fist Intercessor with a nice array of weapons so you can, you know, arm your troops how you see fit. This is the packaging it comes in. It's a black box. See the, all the information I just said. These are recommended for ages 15 and above. They are for adult collectors. Here's the top of the box. And let's see here. The bottom of the box is the same as the top. And then the side... You want to uh, pause and read that you can and then we have this side if you want to pause and read that and then on the back we have some product images the size of the figure uh, the large image shows you all the accessories that you can load up your troops small ones front back and close up of the head uh, sculpt of the figure so let's go and take a look what it looks like inside the clamshell and that's how he's packaged. Pretty decent for being a just a basic intercessor figure. Okay, so here he is right outside the packaging. This is the V2 body. All right, soldier, back to your post. It's time for my review. Hey, Tor, what are you doing? I'm here for my review. Why? Hey, man, we're done with the review. You got to get out of here. What you say to me? You didn't hear me? Is your gene seed faulty? You need to go. I will pound you, reviewer. Yeah, okay. Get lost, or Make me. Fine, come here. Ah, ah, ah! Come here, ah! Pew, 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 pew! Ah, you shot me! How dare you! You piece of plastic! Man, I think it bit me, too. Ha ha! Get back in your box. No. Hey, stop it. Hey. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, stop that. Oh, man, that hurt. I can't believe that. I'm glad he's a 18 scale figure. I think he might actually do some damage. Seriously. These little guys are tough. This hard work being a reviewer. All right, now I got rid of that little pest. Let's take a look at our uh, intercessor here. So, like I said, V2 body. Um, Here's the top. You see all that extra area we don't need. The head will rotate 360 all the way around without any issues because of that massive crater. We have the side to side, back and forward. We have the silver on the vent and on the side of the ear. Green eyes, black here in the front vent. So you can get all the angles you would want for the head. Pretty decent. Kind of unsightly on some parts of the angles that you can see the peg. So, but you have to be careful your, for your trick photography like uh, manufacturers do. The pauldron, we have this symbol here. We have the black outline of the pauldron. We overall, the, the yellow body has a brown wash on it. Very cool. The pauldrons are kind of the strap, so you get it moves around a little bit, not too much. On this pauldron, we have the Imperial Fist logo painted on, or like a tampoed. We have the black trim with the extra guard here on top, which is really nice. And in the center, we have that very nice metallic looking red with skull and wings with a black wash. Very cool. Other than that, there's not much more to see. Uh, what happened? Well, at least we can take a look at that strap. You've ever seen one yet with the strap on see how it goes between the arm it does cause an issue for space instead of having that um, little ball bell that was into the shoulder piece and you kind of move it around this is their v2 attempt here um i think that was just probably not pushed in all the way because nothing looks broken it's like it kind of does have a little of a maybe now nope. they might have like a butterfly joint that pops out yeah, it was just, uh, wasn't pushed in all the way, probably from shipping, because I just opened him when I'm doing a review. So, uh, the arms, how these still have the, uh, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, hands rotate 360 all the way around, up, down, in and out, 
and all the places in between the chest rotates in and out like so 360 rotations there but it's kind of stuck a little bit maybe some heat um, for splits not that much that much by rotations there we have the double jointed knees fantastic for the ankles we do pivot down we pivot up we got the rocker and we got the tail articulation up very cool uh just pull that off again how about that let's see here huh? it's on there maybe i'm just a little upset from uh my little battle with tour kind of got me a little I got my dexterity off a little bit from wrestling with him because it kind of seems perfectly okay no issues maybe i don't know so i just think it's a tolerance thing with that band between there definitely it takes up space everything takes up space and uh that might be my issue huh this is the first time i've seen my arm keep falling off Nothing's broken, so I guess this is a matter of getting past that little notch. Hmm. All right, let me take a look at it. So I got it back on, try to rotate it, and I think what happens is it just it's such a low tolerance, so it just pushes it off. I can feel it pop in. I, I can hear it actually too. I don't know if you guys can, but I don't know if it's the peg and socket or because this is so tight up against the shoulder if I was pushing it out let's see if this one does it nope it doesn't do it on side it just rotates off so that's definitely an issue um, so keep an eye out if you do buy one of these it could be just my copy it could be all copies but I have a blood angel ones is the same mold it's just red and it doesn't do that so I'll have to deep dive deep into this one see what's going on and also i think my head's a little loose too maybe i have to take a look and see what's going on in there also so two issues right there for this figure outside the box there he is let's take a 360 look at him there's the pauldrons the back we have the silver on the back and on the where the power pack goes on the back we have a gun case with a pistol grip that's not removable and a purity seal a removable pouch and uh cylinder done flat black with a white wash cylinder uh silver cylinders at the bottom so we do have that pre-applied at the bottom of the feet i showed you guys the top of the head in the crater there's a pauldron and here's the uh, skull and wings, which is fantastic. Yeah, he looks pretty cool. Um, he fits right in with, uh, I believe, the other colors of the other Emperor Fists that are offered so far, I believe. For his weapons, we have his chainsaw sword, flat black, gunmetal color, gold skull here on the bottom looks fantastic nice solid piece not going to bend just a motor we got some studs here on the hand grip protector chainsaw blade itself and i'm betting we can't do anything without a hair dryer yeah that's really stiff so but we've seen a thousand times over um chainsaw swords with our figures so let's move on so here we have the alternative. We have this piece here that you can swap off for that pistol case. It does not have the grip in it or a purity seal on it. So I kind of I get the pistol grips being gone. That's the point. But the purity seal kind of takes away from the uh, compatibility. And then you get this type of gun. Got a metal and black. Drill through the side. Drill barrel. It's decent. Little slide there. And handle kind of. Uh, looks like the handle it might match this is a little deeper down here but you can take that off put this on put this in his hand and you're good to go these figures hold the weapons the same so due to the unbelievable bottom stiffness in the hands 
it's really difficult to uh, put them in without heat them up every time you put them in and take them out just for safety purposes. And here we have the basic power pack, backpack, jump pack, whatever you want to call it. We have the color palette and then gunmetal vents throughout, silver studs, black vent. These do rotate at different tolerances. You need to heat them. I have that one is heated. It's very tight. On the inner side, they go ahead and do paint some most of the time the silver inside. It gives us a little more um added detail, which is great because you know it's on the inside. They don't have to do that, which I think is fantastic. And I've been getting various tolerances and diameter fits for yeah, that's very really tight. So you can see it. that's I mean that's super tight. You can see the pegs. So I'm gonna to have to heat that up and hopefully that works out for me, okay? So that's how that looks. Pretty good. So we have his hands, extra hands here, four extra hands. A gripping. You can see how hard that is. That's impossible. A fist. A baby power fist, if you will, compared to Tor. And I love these open hands. These are great. It's my favorite ones. Especially how the pads look underneath. Very nice. And then we have the pointing fingers. Gave me direction. Tell them to attack. Or whatever you want it to be. Okay, so I negotiated with Tor. And he honestly promised not to shoot me or bite me anymore. I'm going to let him come in for some comparisons from this big brute of a figure to a basic intercessor so you can get an idea of the size and detail difference. Okay, here's our guest of honor here. And I can see how he scales with the intercessor and how the paint matches. I think they're spot on except for the wings. Well, I can't say skull wings because he has a fist of wings and he has skull wings. It's definitely a brighter fist and wings on tour than on the uh, army builder. So that matters to you. Other than that, um, tour has a lot more wash and wear to him than the uh, intercessor. So other than that, he looks pretty good. There's a side view. And from the back, you can see how more advanced Tor's power pack is versus the Intercessor. All that extra gear. And you also can take a look and see how this mod George Way modifies the same part pretty much. It looks like that I can tell. Especially a heavy retooling, I think. And here's that side. You can compare the uh, raised 3D sculpted Imperial Fist versus the painted. And you can see a difference in the feet area there. How he has the high heel versus the intercessor that is not. So it's a heavy difference in the, the captain versus the intercessor. So um final thoughts. He's he's a marine. He's an Emperor Fist Marine, no doubt. Um the quality is the same. Now, I'm having issues, obviously, you've seen with my one arm. My head's a little loose. I know sometimes when you buy these, they're, you know, not fully seated into the sockets. And sometimes it happens. But I'm going to have to take a closer look at my arm because nothing through the camera looks like it's broken. Um, how to get underneath the light and see what's really going on. Could be that space gap between the uh, shoulder joint and that stupid strap that I absolutely hate that. Um, uh, other than that, he's straightforward. Um, nothing seems broken or anything. Maybe some heat, maybe it popping in a little better. I'm not sure what's happening in there. Some little, too much friction or whatever. When you rotate the actual arm. Because I have this three, these army builders as a heads up. There's a Blood Angels, there's Imperial Fist, and then there's a Ultra Marine one, which I haven't even opened yet. Um, so you can army build those three. And I've had no problems with my Blood Angel, thank goodness, because that is actually the hardest one to come by yeah, for obvious reason. He's more popular, I think. Um, so there it is. Um, some issues that you keep an eye out for. Um, 
if I uh, can remember in a future Pure Fist video, maybe, and I'll let you know if I got to fix it, what was going on. I might forget. Who knows? Lots going on in life. But I hope you guys liked this review. A little bit of fun we had with Tor. And if you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel to help support the channel out. I'd really, really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in our next review.